Welcome again. Today we are going to be talking about the Born Haber cycle. So uh, here I have uh, an experiment, a simple experiment where uh, I light up a magnesium ribbon. So we are going to see what the reaction looks like. As you can see, uh, there is a clear uh, white uh, flame that is being uh, uh, shown in the ribbon and that's just the, how exothermic the reaction is. So the reaction is usually written by students as uh, Mg in its solid state plus a half of oxygen which gives MgO. So uh, this is a, a usual form that uh, is written by many people. So um, here we have a simple formula for this reaction but as we are talking about the von Haber cycle it gets fairly complicated from here. Now this uh, heat that is generated is about minus 602 kilojoules. So there is a different cycle that happens uh, uh, unlike what you see. So we go around another cycle that ends up at this value. So first what happens is magnesium goes uh, from its solid state to its gaseous state and, GG, and oxygen remains the same for now O2 and this uh, is at plus 148 kilojoules. Now this process is referred to as the atomization of magnesium or as I will write it LHAT of magnesium. So this uh, plainly just says that one atom of magnesium is in its isolated gaseous state uh, and oxygen is the same but we do the uh, same process for oxygen where we go as Mg in its gaseous state plus O at what you get as its uh, uh, gaseous state without like you know when it's separated from its oxygen molecule and uh, this is at plus 249 kilojoules. Now we have the magnesium uh, atom and the oxygen atom separated and now it's time to ionize them. So magnesium uh, gets ionized to Mg plus plus OG uh, gives you and this is at plus 738. And uh, since uh, magnesium is at its stable state at Mg2+, plus, we do the same thing again, Mg2+, plus, plus OG, uh, and this is at plus 1451 kilojoules. So now we have the magnesium uh, ion at Mg2+, plus, and now we, got, uh, we have to get oxygen uh, ionized as well. So oxygen takes in electrons and this gets it down towards Mg2 plus plus O minus uh, both in their gaseous states which uh, is actually minus 141 kilojoules and we go back up for uh, Mg2 plus plus O2 minus uh, which is at plus 798 so this is the cycle that we go to where you have Mg2 plus and O2 minus which comes down all the way to where we are at MgO when they fuse together and that is at a negative 3, negative 3845 kilojoules. So the von Haber cycle basically states that the cycle you take over here, the sum of all the energy that is being spent or taken in on this cycle is equivalent to this minus 602 kilojoules. So uh, this is especially used in uh, places where you really don't know or you can't find out something like how much energy it takes to isolate one atom of magnesium and then atomize it to its gaseous state. We can find this value by you like uh, finding out this value by you know uh, burning magnesium and then using the other values to actually find this or any other thing in this. Now I'd like you to try this question. 